Well, it is eerily quiet here at the Morenci Command Center. All of the searches have ended for the night. We did speak with some parents and students tonight who go to school with those young brothers. They say their absence has left a gaping hole at school. After three grueling days of searching for Tanner, Andrew, and Alex, law enforcement says they have no new details of what happened to the brothers. The little boys have not been seen or heard from since Thanksgiving evening when they were playing here in their father's backyard. A bunch of people is wearing shirts that says, um, help find the three boys. Ten-year-old Harley Warwick knows the brothers from elementary school here in Morency. We talked with her and her mother who tell us it was a tough Monday back in class with with the skeleton kids absent. One of my friends are related to him and it's like she's like really scared because she's afraid that she'll lose him. Harley says teachers discuss the boys disappearance during class. They read like this thing that was passed out from the elementary and um it was kind of like weird because my best friend's like calling me over there because she's crying while the teacher's reading it. Like many here in Morency who are volunteering in the search, Harley's mom just wants the boys home safe. And we're hoping that the boys get to come home safe and sound and, you know, I mean, it's sad. It really is. I mean, they're three little boys. So, I mean, that's, we're just trying to keep up on it and hope that every day that they're found. But one big question remains, where did the boys go? Originally, their father, John Skelton, said they were with a friend of his, but now investigators say that was a lie. Nobody knows exactly what happened. Nobody knows if, you know, the father did something or if he gave them to a woman and the woman did something. It, nobody knows exactly what happened, and that's the scariest part. And early tomorrow morning, the searches will resume. FBI agents, volunteers, and police will be back here. And, of course, Action News will be here to cover the searches and the next Press conference, which is at 11 a.m. tomorrow. Reporting for Morency, I'm Tom Wade, Channel 7 Action News.